and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Wait, wait, wait. Well. Hi, folks. I'm Bob Shrub, physical therapist. Brad Hannick, physical therapist. Together, we are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. I'm stretching, Bob. In our yeah, opinion, of that. course, Bob. Uh, we're going to talk today about seven hip stretches from stretching expert Brad Walker. Brad Walker is I thought you were going to say Brad Hynek. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's, it's very similar. He must be a very smart man. Yeah. He chose the right name. Um, so, Brad, we've actually had him on our podcast. Yes. He's got a lot of books. He's he's probably, I, I would say, the number one stretching expert in the world. Sure. Probably Where's the most, he from? He's from... Australia, yes, Australia. Not UK. No, no. I think that's what we thought he was oh, from the UK. Oh, that's right. Yeah. And, and we were. Anyways, he's we got some two thirty in the morning to do our podcast. They're very well illustrated, very well written uh, for the layperson. It works very well. Yeah, this one's called the anatomy of sports injuries. Um, so, as a layperson, you can really understand the injury and some stretches to do to help. Along with plus, he's got some other uh, guidelines there too. Right now, the, the thing about this is Brad um, has a lot of experience. He's worked with elite athletes mm -hmm. and uh, world champions, uh, world champion athletes. Yep. So, um, he, he, I think he's he's got the cred. He's got the street cred. cred. Oh, yeah. that's the uh, way to say cre credibility. He, credibility. Yeah. So, say no more. By the way, if you're new to our channel, please take a second to subscribe to us. We provide videos how to stay healthy, fit, pain free, and we upload every day. Also, go to bobandbrad.com. Go to the giveaway section this week. We're giving away this. Hopefully, a uh, we're giving away a sleep ovation mattress. Oh my God, we're giving away a whole mattress. That's right. And uh, any size you want. This is just a sample of one. Yes. We got 700 individual mattresses and springs underneath it, and. Uh, it gets sent right to your door. If you have pain, this is the mattress for you. Or if you just want to sleep comfortable all night. Last night, I woke up at 5.30 in the morning. Felt like a champion. That's not last night. That's this morning. Well, I know, but <laughs> as a result of my sleep. Anyways, carry on, Bob. You Let's get to the mention that Tanner got a sleep evasion mattress and he slept well, on the last night. Well, who cares about Tanner? we got to get to the stretches. Okay. All right, um, so let's go to the stretches. Though. Yeah, let's get to work. Oh, we do have podcasts as well. I did yeah. want to mention that. Yeah. All right, the first one, uh, I'm just going to go through them. It's a good general stretches for the uh, hip, but if you're having specific problems, you have to go to our channel, YouTube, uh, Bob and Brad, to figure that out. But here's the line crossover knee stretch. All you're going to do is, well, you're going to grab the opposite So arm. this one you could do in your bed as well as on the floor? Sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it works out, don't you? Yeah, this one, if you're a little cushy, it's not that big a deal. I think it works with the opposite arm better. Sure. You had that one friend that did this one. Yeah, it worked really, out really well yeah, for him. Yeah, it worked out really mm -hmm. well for him. Uh, here's a one that uh, we often do this, like we'll just do it. Sitting, on, right? On the chair. figure four. But if you're an athlete, you can try it this way too. This is a little more intense. Yeah, he's working on external rotation. He's stretching the hip here. So the knee is going down. I'm getting. The, you can clearly feel that hip stretch, that capsule. You know, if you want to lean into it, bend the knee. Uh, you will know. I, people that are stretched regularly, like athletes, this will be very uh, straightforward. Now sitting cross-legged. Like this, I'm going to show you two dis different ways to do this. One is sit cross-legged and then bend forward with your back straight. Yeah. I can do it. Yeah, let's do a profile. Um, so we're looking at... and that Keep we, it as straight as I can. Right. We don't want to stretch your back out and round your back right. out. We I'm want just to put any stress on the hips. Exactly. So then you can also do it, and this does change it. Uh, if you actually put your feet together like oh, this, right. and now use your elbows to stretch down like this. Ooh, oh, doggy. I, I like that one. Yeah. I, I actually do that one, same position, but lying on my back. Sure. Um, but how I long don't do this one enough. How long does he recommend to stretch? I don't think he, I don't know if he told the time. I, I'll have to read through the book again. It's in the book. Yeah. I, I know it's in his other book, but yeah, right. I, you know, you can, you know, 15 to 30 seconds, I believe, 
that if you really want to get some elongation, there's a just an article that just came out, by the way, not by Brad, but they're talking about a 60 second stretch, and that's new information. Really? Uh, yeah, just a study. I know. I and know. I'll bet you, Brad, we're going to have him on the podcast again. He'll know. Right. He'll he'll be up. He on knows it. the latest oh, on yeah. it. Yes. So, Brad, do you want to do the one where you get on your elbows and work at the hip at doctors? Yeah. No, I do. <laughs> this one on the floor, we we, we got to do this on the floor for sure. Yeah. And for someone like me, or if you don't have a, a thick enough carpet, I'm going to use some uh, Pete's Choice pillows, whatever you need. You, you know, if you got tough knees, you don't even need that. But uh, so we're going down like this on my elbows. And then you want to keep your knees right below your hips. And then you just spread out. Is this called the frog stretch too? Because you look like a frog, Brad. I feel like a frog. <laughs> I mean, there. But you can, when you're forward, then I'm just going to go backwards with my hips, using my arms and forearms to uh, move myself. And right there, I'm getting a very nice, aggressive hip stretch. I feel like any minute you're going to jump off the screen. <laughs> oh, wow. I'm starting to feel like a... That's a good one to do, yeah. actually. Yeah. Um, when you show also the one where you kneel and the leg out to the side. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, again, you don't. You, if you got tough knees, ju it's just so much more. I can get a better stretch. I'm relaxed, yeah. and I have something under my knee for a cushion. Now, Brad uh, taught martial arts for many years yeah. uh, and participated in martial arts yep. for many years. You actually could check out his book. Um, what is your book called again? Do you remember? No, I don't. <laughs> it's down there. Some. I'm yeah. thinking, Bob, about the stretch. <laughs> it's a Kindle book, <sighs> but uh, he's got some. Advice on martial arts and how to stay but injury free. I do that one. I know Brad doesn't, but I'm a different Brad. So I, I like to do it standing like this. It, it works well, and it is pretty much the same stretch. Aren't you a braggart? Okay, <laughs> next one. I'm going to do uh, this wasn't in Brad's book. I think it was probably in his first book, uh, but I'm just going to stretch the hip flexor. Well, actually, I'll do it. On the yeah, you can see here. it more clearly. So I'm going to stretch the hip flexor on this side. And I'm also stretching hip flexion a little bit here. You see oh, what I'm doing? Mm -hmm. I'm going into flexion. So I like this one because uh, we're getting two stretches at once. Yep. So I'm going way forward like this. I'm stretching this hip into flexion, and this hip is, is into extension. Right. There you go. Again, hold these 15 or 30 seconds. You know, this. Uh... what you'll see is that this doesn't take very long. You right. Know. Once you get through these, and there may be a couple you don't like or they hurt, uh, none of these should create pain. They should feel like a healthy stretch. Um, and but you'll find this will help uh, prevent hip problems, and it will help you if you have a hip problem already. Um, yeah, regain that motion. Yeah, regain the motion. Increase motion. Better, less pain. Well, thanks, Brad Walker. Oh, not and me. <laughs> not you. Yeah. And uh, hope to see you soon. I heard he hurt his ribs. Oh really? Yeah, I don't know. I got to find out what uh, what'll happen there. You mean like from a from trauma? Uh, yeah, like from a trauma. Yeah, just go to Brad. Just go to uh, YouTube or Google Bob and Brad a rib pain injury. We have a nice video. Yeah, you on got that. a friend that had hurt their ribs. Yeah, mm -hmm. and we have an updated one. We have two. Watch both of them, and, and I'm sure you'll be very satisfied. You're always plugging away, aren't you? Well, Bob, yeah, you know, yeah. the, the we want these people to maintain their. We want people to get better. We're grateful. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching.